Good afternoon. This is Amber Nichols, District Mental Health Specialist of Grandview Heights Schools. On behalf of our Pupil Services Department and School District, I would like to welcome you to our Wellness Wednesday communication designed specifically for you, the parents and guardians of our students. Right now, more than ever, we need to invest in self-care practices and use coping strategies that help us reduce and manage stress and anxiety. As caregivers, we may feel guilty for taking time for ourselves. It may even feel self-indulgent or selfish. This may lead us to put all other responsibilities before attending to ourselves. During these times, it may be helpful to think about the safety instructions that flight attendants provide during flight preparations. Passengers are told that in case of an emergency, they are to put their own oxygen mask on first. This is because without oxygen, you most likely will be unable to physically put your child's mask on, much less your own. If we do not take care of ourselves during this disruptive and unsettling time, we are unable to be fully present and responsive in our physical and emotional caretaking of our children and teens. Our student services team would like to share with you what coping strategies are helping us during this time. Hello everyone. My name is Jane O'Shaughnessy, and I'm the college counselor at Grandview Heights High School. This is a difficult time for all of us. We each must find a way to cope with our stress and frustration. What I find most effective for myself is physical exercise. I try to walk every day for an hour, and I take an exercise class on Zoom three times a week for total body conditioning. And when all else fails, I snuggle up in my bed and watch my soap, General Hospital. My name is Abby Keller and I'm the school psychologist at Stevenson Elementary. I've found that when I'm feeling stressed or worried, one of the best things that I can do to help myself relieve that stress is going outside and taking a walk and listening to a really good playlist. I'm Tori Trimble and I'm the Centero School-based clinician for the district. My biggest coping skill during this time has been talking about my feelings, either by journaling or um, talking with loved ones about what's been going on when I'm feeling overwhelmed. Hi everyone, this is Eric Pickering, school psychologist for the middle school and high school. My coping strategy is to get outside. I walk, play, or sit outside. If the weather is bad, my coping strategy then is to play or listen to music. Hi, I'm Abby Malley, school counselor, grades four through eight. When I'm feeling overwhelmed, I find one of my best coping skills is to take a step away from the demands of home and work and enjoy the outdoors. This provides me with renewed stamina to come back in and complete the tasks at hand. Hi everybody, my name is Stephanie Duran and I'm the school counselor at Stevenson Elementary. My coping strategy that I use during this time is I'm trying to stick to a regular routine as much as possible so I still get up pretty early and I get my exercise in before anybody else wakes up in the house. So it gives me a little bit of time to myself too. Hello, my name is Brian Stork. I'm proud to serve as a counselor at Grandview Heights High School. I utilize several coping strategies such as praying, meditating, and exercising. However, music tends to be my go-to during stressful times. I enjoy playing and writing music on guitar and piano. Sometimes just listening to music helps too. The coping strategies that are helping me the most right now include escaping into another world with a good book, taking every opportunity I can to laugh, and connecting with those I love and who love me which includes my cat, Ben Riley. As you just heard, coping strategies are varied and personal. Use what works for you and remember that you are valued and worthy of care. Our student services team is here for our students and their families. Please do not hesitate to reach out if we can support you on a more individual and personal level. If you have a concern about the safety of a young person, Please seek immediate help using one of the listed hotlines, contacting local authorities, or by alerting their parents or guardian directly. This is especially important when school is not in session.
Thank you again for all that you are doing to take care of yourselves and each other.